Shalom Alehem. I am Messenger Daniel. It is in the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries. Say Shalom Alehem. Peace be in today. My brothers and sisters, no matter where you are, there is so many controversies, so many deceptions. But today, I want to go to the scripture to say exactly what Messiah Yahshua said in his own language and his own mouth. When humanity are fighting between one another. When we take the book of John 13, chapter verse 34, Messiah Yahshua said that a new command I give you, love one another as as Yahshua have loved you, so you must love one another. So, the scriptures say, a new command I give you, love one another, as Messiah Yahshua, our Savior, love us. So you must, it is a must, to love one another. If Messiah Yahshua command us, love is not about choice. Love is a commandment. If Messiah command us to love one another as a comparison, as he loved us, that's why he died for us. Instead of for us to die for our sin, he took our places because of love. That same love is said to use it between one another. If there is love, the way Messiah Yahshua used the word love, if we lose love the way you use love, how can there can be religion? How can there can be discrimination about color? When he said to love one another, he don't say to love only your own people, but love one another. He don't give any limitation how to love. But only he instructed or command us to love one another. He don't say only to love your own color people and to hate the others. He said to love one another as I love you. Yahweh is not a Yahweh of partiality or a Yahweh of compromising. When he said to love, so that's why Yahweh loves every single one of us who are doing the right thing. But he hates our actions. Yahweh never hate anybody physically. But we hate physically that are supposed to be doing the way the scripture said according to John 13, chapter verse 34. Messiah tries to take that to love one another, not to hate one another, not to hate white people or Caucasian people, only love black people. I never see that on the scripture. We are not on the 60s. We are not on the 40s. We are in 2016 years. It is a time now for us to sit down together. If we all want to go to heaven, if there is a heaven, if we cannot love one another, we cannot live with love, peace, and unity with one another. How come we expect to go to heaven if there is a heaven? Even as the law is governed, if we cannot live together here, we just like a bunch of pit bull and German shepherd. If we cannot love one another as Messiah Yeshua command us to love one another, how we expect to go forward? When we take the verse 35 and John verse 13 chapter, by this all oh, men will know that you are my disciple if you love one another. Very pure and simple. Messiah Yahshua speaking his own self. By this, by love, by love one another, all oh, men will know that you are my disciple if you love one another. He is a must. You cannot say you know about Yahweh and Yahushua and you hate other people because of the preferences of color or whatsoever it is. I don't see on the scripture, Messiah Yahshua say, you have to love only your people and hate 
the Caucasian and hate other people. I don't see that nowhere on the scripture. If there is a hate on the scripture, it's not about physically, it's about spiritual hate. I bear we cannot love and hate at the same time. There is no way. If the scripture make it very clear, I repeat it again. In John 13, chapter verse 34, we say, as I state that, a new command, a new commandment I give you, love one another as I, Yahshua, love you. So you must, it's not a choice, it is a must to love one another, not to hate Caucasians, because love has no color. If there is love, there can be no religion. If we all come from only one creator, if there is only one creator, why there is so many religions? Why so many cities about color, black, yellow, purple? Yahweh create everything, he create them for a purpose, for the things. But the leaders in the ancient time deceive us by putting black and white. Messiah Shua don't say to love black people and to hate white people. He don't say that on the scripture. He said to love one another as I love you. So the ancient part we have leave when your leaders tell you of oh, black people or oh, white people or white people put you in slavery, I don't see that on the scripture. If there is a slavery, you put yourself in your own slavery. But white people or Caucasian people don't do anything wrong to anybody. If there is anything wrong, I buy we apprentice them to do their job because you are refused to obey the commitment of Yahweh. When we take the same John 13 chapter verse 35, state that, by these, what these? By love one another. All men will know that you are my disciple if you love one another. But what is the opposite of love? Hate. If you hate one another, you cannot be my disciple. There is only one way you can follow Messiah Yeshua. There is only one way you can be Messiah Yeshua disciple is to love one another. There is no way on the scripture say about it. And we're going to keep continuing and to read what the scripture has to say. Not what your leader or what Martin Luther King whatsoever say about black and white. The scripture never talking about black and white. They put it in order to put a wall between the color people. We see this just for the sake of money. So your leader doesn't help you and make you think in you are inferior to the other ways or the other ways put you in slavery. Far I can say white people are the devil. I don't see on the scripture say white people are the devil. So whoever say white people put us in slavery, you have put your own self in slavery because you are refused to listen to the commitment of Abba Yahweh. Let's go to the book of Leviticus 19, chapter verse 18. You shall not take vengeance, nor bear any grudge against the son of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am Yahweh. This is not me. Write it down and read it for yourself. I'm going to quote the scripture for you again to see what Yahweh himself I say. You shall not take vengeance, nor be any gods against the son of your people, but you shall love your neighbors as yourself. I am Yahweh. When Yahweh said to love that neighbor as that self, what is the meaning to love that neighbor as that self? Most philosophies and theologian people may not understand the scripture because the scripture must be interpreted by the scripture. Meaning the same spirit inspired by his prophet 
or by his disciple or by Messiah Yahshua, you have to have that same spirit in order to understand spirit of discernment, the spirit of revelation. Yahweh has to reveal to you what it is written in order to understand the scripture. If Yahweh do not open up your eyes, your mind, you cannot understand the scripture. You might be go to school, you might be have 100,000 diploma, but the way I came from, we don't use diploma, we use the spirit of Yahweh, that's make the differences. If Messiah Yahshua say, you should not take vengeance, so whatever happened, let Yahweh take vengeance. He don't tell you to go out there to kill anybody or to hate anybody. And Yahweh said, do not be any God. So do not against anybody, no matter who you are, do not go against anybody. You should love your neighbor as yourself. When you love your neighbor as yourself, in order to love your neighbors, first of all, you have to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you cannot love any other person. So the love has to come to you first. If you love yourself, you cannot go and put a gun in somebody and shoot that person because you love yourself. Don't do whatever you don't want nobody to do to you. Do it to another. That's why I say love that neighbor as yourself. If you love yourself, you're not going to fight with him. If you love yourself, you're going to love your neighbor. Who are your neighbor? Every single person living on the face of the earth is your neighbor. So that's the reason why we do not understand the scripture. If you love yourself, you're not going to push somebody for no reason or no matter hatred, differences of color or racism of religion whatsoever. There is nowhere on the scripture from Genesis to Revelation there is any verse referred to any religions. But from Genesis to Revelation talking about the children of Israel. So the salvations must be coming from the children of Israel. As they say from the Jewish. But the Jewish is just one tribe in the tribe of Judah. But the children of Israel represent the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. I myself come from the tribe of Levi's. So because of that, if we use love, love, the we love, love has no color. That's the same thing in water. Water has no color. You might be go to the ocean, you might be see the see the water look like red, purple, blue, or whatsoever. But when you pick up the water, what is the color? Crystal clear. Just like love. If we use love, that can be about black and white, purple, yellow. That can be no religion. We are all one. The problem is as a tree and the, as a branch of a tree, we might be gone or go in different directions. But at the end, we remain as one. If there is only one creator, he created everybody, everything on the earth. From one man, from Abraham, we all came from. We are from the descendant of Noah. From the three sons of Noah, we all exist today. From one family, not two family, not four family, only from Noah family. If there is only one family, we all exist today. And we are all family, and we are all brothers and sisters. No matter what the color might be, Yahweh created for his own purpose. Just like you can see a dog, there is a teacup, there is German shepherd, there is all kinds of different things. Even for the fruit, about we create orange, grapefruit, apples, he create everything. Because for his own good, imagine Yahweh was great only, let's say, vanilla flavor, and there is no strawberry or cherry. The world might be boring. So you imagine if everybody on the earth was on the same color, and what's going to be happening? The world would be boring. So Yahweh created, is no why he created. But only one thing we have to remember, we all came from one family. At the time of the flood, 
There is only one family who was saved on the Noah family. The three sons of Noah and his three daughters-in-law. We all exist today. One family. As I say, as we are as a tree, a branch on the tree, we might be going in different directions. But at the end, we are women as one. You can see a tree. A tree is so big. There is so many branches on the trees, going from north, south, east, and west. You cannot count how many branches that tree has. But at the end, all the branches came from only one tree. We are came from one tree. We are came from only from one creator, one family. He is a must to love one another, no matter what the difference is, religion or color. All them created by men for the sake of money. Because the devil as a messiah, so I say, the thief is coming but not to steal, kill, and destroy. I messiah Yahshua, I'm coming to give you life not even life, most abundantly. Why the animals enjoy the creation of Yahweh? But only one creation cannot be enjoy Yahweh creation is only humanity. Because they fail to love one another. It's a common. It's not a choice. The animal enjoy the creations. That's the reason why Yahweh, before he even taken to create Adam, to bring Adam to this earth, he created everything because Yahweh never be intent for humanity to be suffering. But we choose to be suffering because we are refused to obey to the commandments of Abba Yahweh. That's the reason why if you don't love yourself, you can love nobody. Everything has to come from you as an example. So if you love that person, even Messiah, so I will go to the scripture when he say, if your enemy is thirsty, give them water. If your enemy is naked, give him clothing. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If your enemy is tall, your clothes, give him your tunic. If he asks you to walk one mile, walk two miles. If he slap you and one cheek, and turn the order. So he leaves no room for physical actions. So we have to embody ourselves and listen. We are not on the 60s. We are not on the 70s. We are in 2016. We cannot look back. We have to look forward. Whatever your leaders was teaching you, but today is a new beginning, is a new day. You must listen and love one another. The kingdom of Abba we do not build according black and white, purple, yellow. The kingdom of Yahweh is built according to those who believe in Yahushua. And when we quote John 3 16, state that Yahweh so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. Listen carefully. Whomsoever believe, and Messiah Yahshua will not going to be perished. But whomsoever not believe will be perished. We might be taking only the kingdom of Yahweh, only being only for black people or color people. You are wrong. The scripture don't talk about color. It says whomever believe. The key is, is to have a faith. You can be black as the charcoal. But if you don't believe in Yahshua, the kingdom of Yahweh is not belong to you. And a person can be white, just like my short, just like snow. They believe in Yahweh. They're going to leave you behind. They're going to go to the kingdom of Yahweh. But you, because of unbelief, you're going to leave behind. You say, that's why I don't say, who of a black believer, me say, whom of a belief. The key is, is belief. When you take John 3, verse 18, he said, whomsoever do not believe in Yahshua already condemned. As already condemned. But whoever believes in Yahshua, even in his name, will not be condemned. So do you talk about black and white, purple, yellow? No. He said, whomever. So the kingdom of Yahweh build according to your faith. 
according to your belief, not according to your color. If there is any leader who talking about color because they are sick, they don't use the word of Yahweh. If they use the word love, there cannot be religion. There cannot be any kind of racism between color. Because Yahweh created everything for his own good, for his kingdom. He created everything, big, small, large, extra large, double large, no matter what, goes for his reason. Let's go further to the scripture according to Matthew 5 verse 24. But I, Yahshua, tell you, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. That's Messiah Yahshua himself. If you think you have any enemy, I don't have no enemy. Because my job is to love. My blessing is to love one another. My duty is to love one another. So you cannot hate and love. I can hate your actions, what you're doing, but not physically hate. The way we hate white people, it is a time to renew our minds. So there is no need to be as a world black matter, black life matter. I don't see that on the scripture, black. Every life matter. Every life, because the scripture says you should not kill. This is one of the commandments of Abba Yahweh. No matter if you are black, yellow, purple, purple, dark, no matter what color you are, every life matter. Because you cannot take something you cannot give. You can take only what you can give. Because Yahweh is the one who gives life. So how can you take something you cannot give back? When you kill somebody, when the scripture says you should not kill, that means you go against the commandment of Abba Yahweh. Because you listen to your leader, say, why people doing this to you? We must stop by saying, why people, why people? Say, you must obey the commandment of Abba Yahweh. So nobody do anything to nobody. You might be like it, you might be don't like it, but guess what? I don't say everybody to listen to me or to accept what I say. But if you go to the scripture, you have the wise spirit and you will see what I'm talking to you is the truth, nothing but the truth. Because Yahshua say in his own mouth, according to Matthew 5 chapter verse 24, but as Yahshua telling you, love your enemies, and pray for those who persecute you. No matter if you know you have an enemy, you must be pray for those who hate you. If you think you have an enemy, you have to do good to them. So why you have to hate them when Yahshua said to love your enemy? Supposedly, you have an enemy. Messiah Yahshua said to love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. He don't say to kill them. He also said to go against the government, but he said one thing, to pray for those who persecute you. Love your enemy. What love your enemy say? He don't say to hate your enemy, but Yahshua said to love your enemies. When we take John 15 chapter verse 12, this is my commitment that you love one another as again I love you. We say Yahshua said to go against anybody is a comment. Love is a commandment. It's not a choice. John 15 verse 12. This is my commandment that you love one another. As, as is a comparison, Messiah Yeshua loved us. He died for our sin. He was not a sinner because of us. He became a sinner. But why we cannot listen to him? for even one second in our lives. We can blame white people for our failure, but why we never sit down to blame ourselves? Because we are refused to listen to the commandment of Abba we, we are cursed. The day we take the responsibility, we acknowledge we are doing something wrong, we acknowledge whatever the commitment of Abba Yahweh we has rejected because of the tradition of man, we're going to be all right. But until that, we're going to be in trouble. Whatever we see now, it's just the beginning of the beginning. 
until you need to repent and love your neighbor as yourself. If you love yourself, it is a must to love one another. If you cannot love one another, and you tell me you love the one you don't see, and the one you see, you hate them, you want to kill them, you just like a pit bull and German shepherd, and you tell me that's love, that's come from Yahweh, no. Why Messiah Shua instruct his disciple to love one another as he loves us? If we love Yahweh, it is a must to obey his commandments. When we take the book of John 15, chapter verse 17, this is my comment again to you, love one another. It's not a choice. Messiah Shua said, this is my command to you that you love one another. This is Messiah Yeshua express itself to you. Are you going to be stuck or stuck by the sin to your leader, say, to hate white people or white people put you in slavery? White people are the devil. I don't see nowhere on the scripture say white people is the devil. But we blame ourselves just like in the Garden of Eden when Yahweh asking Adam, where were you? Why are you hiding? Are you eating on the tree? I command you not to eat. Adam said, the woman you give it to me, she give it to me, and I eat. And Abaya will turn around and ask the woman, what have you been done to this man? She said, the serpent. That's the same thing happened on the Garden of Eden. Nobody want to acknowledge the failure or the, the sin. They keep on blaming one another. But the day we acknowledge our sin, get back to Abayawe for forgiveness, Abayawe will forgive us. But until that, there is no forgiveness. There is only one thing, destructions upon destruction. You have destroyed yourself. Just like Hosea 4 verse 6 say, My people Israel are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Because of the rejection of the commandment, Yahweh will also reject you to be a nation of priests. So that's the reason why my people are destroyed. There is nobody destroy you. You destroy your own self with Oshea 4 verse 6. Nobody destroy you. Yahweh not destroy you or white people or Caucasian people don't destroy you. You destroy your own self because you refuse to put in applications. The instruction your creator has been given to you as a way of life. When we take the book of Romans 12 chapter verse 10, be devoted to one another and bloodily love outdo for who love his neighbor has fulfilled the law. That is very pure and simple. Be devoted to one another and brotherly. Love out you, yourself, and honoring one another. If you honor one another, you fulfill all the laws and the prophets. But we can be blaming others for our failure, for our disobedience, because we are just like Adam and Eve, blaming each other instead of for them to take their own responsibilities for the failure for disobey Yahweh commandments. Woman 13 verse 8 say, Be in debt to no one except to one another in love, for who love his neighbor has fulfilled the law. So there is only one law is to love one another. If we can do that, that we will fulfill all the law. It's not a choice, but your pastor say it's a choice. Your minister tell you it's a choice. Your leader tell you it's a choice because what is about money? They make a money of you. If we are created by one creator, he tell us to love one another. Be in debt to no one except to one another and love. For who love is neighbor? has fulfilled the law. 
in order for you to fulfill the law, you have to love your neighbor as yourself. As I say, if you don't love yourself, there is no way in this earth you're going to love somebody. Just like sometimes people can drive 50 miles in an area when they say 15 miles because the person don't love himself or herself. If the person don't love himself or herself, the person don't care for others. Just that is, it is a must, it is a time. As I say, I said it again, you might be like it, you don't like it. It is what it is. We are not on the 60s no more. We are not on the 40s, we are in 2016. It's time for change. It's time for us to renew our mind, to start by a new beginning, by love one another. It's not a choice, it is a comment Yahweh has commanded us to love one another. Let's go to the book of Romans 13, chapter verse 10. Love doth not want to it, neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law again. Love does not do wrong. Love does not do anything hate or against. Because when you put love in perspective, hey, you're going to live a life of peace. But without a life of peace, to love one another, love your neighbor, you're talking about, oh, this is a black area, it's a crack area. The crack area is for anybody. When people say about nigger, nigger is just like a word. Nigger can be anybody. It's not talking about color. If you know about words, nigger who overlive in some kind of situation, some kind of position can be a nigger. Nigger is not assaulted or a, a word to be offended for. People take the word of nigger as offended. If anybody call me nigger, I'm not going to offend it because anybody can be a nigger because I know I'm not a nigger. Why you have to be offended? But on the 40s, on the 60s, those leaders take that word to make a money legacy in your, in your head. I don't need to make any money of you. I want to tell you the truth because I want you to go to the kingdom of Yahweh. In order for you to even see the kingdom of Yahweh, you're going to change your mind and start by love one another as Messiah Yahshua required as a command, not a choice. So it's a love that not wrong. Love does not want. So there is nothing when you love somebody, that person never do anything wrong to you because you love that person. So he said to his neighbor, therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. Do you see the, that scripture? And when you love that neighbor and you fulfill all, all the scripture, only by love your neighbor only. Because if you love your neighbor, the earth is going to be at peace. We don't need no parties. We're not going to be no jailhouse. We don't need no gun because we love one another. There is so many chaos because of hatred, because of money. Because Paul said the love of money is the root of all evil. That's why there is a war. War is about business. If there is love, there is no way you can go ahead and kill somebody and say, I'm going to give you democracy by the time no man can give men any freedom. When you kill innocent people, when the scripture says you should not kill, and you go to war and you kill innocent children, innocent people, and you call that freedom, in the name of freedom, in the name of democracy, no, this is a crime against Abba Yahweh because you don't love your neighbor as yourself. So that's not freedom. It can be freedom for humanity, freedom for the devil, but for Yahweh, he said to love one another. By love that neighbor, you fulfill all the laws and the prophets. Let's take the book of Galatians, 5 chapter verse 14. The entire law is fulfilled in single degrees. Love thy neighbor as the safe. I mean, all the scripture will fulfill in one single word if you can only love your neighbor as yourself. All that scripture will be fulfilled if we can only love one another as we love ourselves. As I say, in order to love your neighbor, in order to love one another, it is a must to love yourself first. If you don't love yourself, you cannot never love nobody. 
even your wife, you might be used lust for love, but you can love nobody. You must love yourself first. When you learn to love yourself, then you can keep on going to learn or to learn to love another. But until you don't love yourself, you cannot love any other. Not even your mother, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters, your wife. You cannot be able to love them because you don't love yourself. Everything comes from you, yourself. Be an example for yourself. The way you talk, the way you walk, you can see I love. When you get love, you give love. But if you don't have something, or can you keep somebody, something you don't even have nothing with, in order for you to give love, you have to have love. If you don't have love, you have hatred. How can you can love somebody? And if you say you love Yahweh, and you see me, you hate me. You see a white people, you say, look at him, he's the one who put me in slavery. But you don't see yourself, put yourself in slavery by disobedience, by a commitment, but you take the shift, you blame it somebody because you are refused to take your own responsibilities. The book of Galatians 6 verse 2 says, Be one another burdens, and so fulfill the law of Messiah Yahshua. Read it for yourself. I don't try to impress nobody. I want you to go to the scripture. Be a challenge of the scripture. Whatever I say, if there is anything wrong, please do not hesitate to give me a call. Brother Daniel 76 210 0503. I am ready for any challenge. Anybody who can prove to me I'm wrong by quoting the scripture, hey, you welcome. One and one at the radio, at the TV. At the park anywhere I am ready because I believe in the word I'm reading I believe in Yahushua I believe in Yahweh I'm reading the scripture a loving letter he give it to us in order we can live in the face of the earth Galatians 6 verse 2 state that be one another not only black people be black people burden be one another burdens that means you don't see color be one another burdens. But no matter it's black, purple, yellow, purple, that you have to be one another burdens. I am your keeper, no matter what your color. Don't be just a king. I am not king. So don't be just that king. Say, I am not my brother keeper. Yes, you are your brother keeper. If you are not your brother keeper, something is wrong with you. You are just a descendant of Cain, descendant of the devil. Because Cain was the son of the devil, not the son of Adam. But maybe one day we go through that. But now, God is saying, be one another burden and so fulfill the law of Yahushua. Because he is a new coming. So if how come you do not believe in Yahushua, you do not believe in love one another and you say, oh, I believe in Yahshua. I believe in the pagan named Jesus. But if you believe in Yahshua, you have to keep exactly what Yahshua tells you to do. Not what your leader telling you to do about black and white, purple, yellow. It is a time to have a mindset. They put that in your mind in order to put a wall, to put a divisions, to put a fight. Messiah Yahshua say one thing. Kingdom divide against kingdom cannot be stand. If we fight between one another, how can we can be stand? We get fight, we get jealous, we get mad when the news media say a white police officer killed a black man. You get mad, you get angry, right? About when a black kill a black, what happened? It's okay for a black kill a black, right? But it's not okay. For a white police officer to the black man, you all get angry. You all get, oh, I'm going to take it straight. You ask for vengeance and justice. About when you kill one another, you must start by loving one another. It is a time now for us to start by loving one another. Start by killing one another. Start by stealing between one another. Start by lying to one another. It is a time to sit down together. As the lions sit down together with the lamb, one day Judah and Ephraim and Israel must sit down on the same table and eat together. The time is now. 
as I say, the 60s already gone, the 70s already gone, the 80s already gone. The 90s already gone. Now we are in 2016. Things must be changed. Love must take a place. If you want to get out from slavery, if you want to get out from poverty, if you want to get out from any misery, it is a must to love one another. As I say, it's not a choice. It's a coming. If we can love one another, that's fulfill all the law of Messiah Yeshua. So why Messiah Shua coming? He died for us because of love. And if somebody loves you, what is your duty? You must love that person and welcome. So you cannot expect to receive without giving. It's a two-way street. You give, you receive. But how can you expect to just receive and not give? It is a must to love one another. The day we start by loving one another, Love yourself and love others. First, you have to go to school to learn how to love yourself. Then, you can be able to love others and then things will be changed. But until this, there is a chaos. Because the media always interpret the words. Instead of the media to say, a police officer, why the police officer kill the man? But they put the color. Why? They want to put the fire gas on the fire there's already fire but instead of for them to put water they put more gas to more fire so why the media has to say the bible color so because they want to put you on the street in order for you to get killed for you to get in jail in order for you to give the government the opportunity to use martial law don't let the media manipulate you. Don't let the media bring your brain, what's your brain. Let them say why the police officer killed the man. Not to say why a white police officer killed a black man. This is totally wrong. The media must be stopped by manipulating the children of Israel. Because there is a price for everything. You are no better than that. Do not put gas on the fire. Try to put the water or try to put the something to stretch it up the fire, but don't try to light up the fire more. My brothers and sisters, as Messiah Yahshua said, love one another. Pray for your enemies if you know you have enemy. And do good for those who hate you. This is the message we take to Yahshua. If you want to listen, it's up to you. The choice is yours. But remember, love has no color. If love has no color, there should be no discriminations. There should be no racism. And there should be no religions. We all can form one creator. If there is only one creator, if we are believe in one creator, we must be stopped by divide ourselves, by color, by racism, and by religion. My brothers and sisters, I love all of you. It's up to you. My duty, my journey, is to show you the door, but you must walk through the door. For that reason today, this is a part one. So may I bless all of you and govern yourself. I am Minister Daniel. Until next time, Say shalom, Allah, peace being today. May Yahweh bless all of you.